Morning, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody just this morning posted this picture on Facebook and wanted to know how they could do this with an arrow. Well, I didn't find the exact arrow, but I found a clip art of an arrow. And you can see it's pretty rough, but I bit mapped it and traced it and, and came up with this. And you could go through there and change it and, you know, make it more like this and and, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is she wanted to know how she could get the word blessed. And in this example, the the B was non-capitalized. So most fonts are not going to have them linked together. That one did, but I just didn't really like the way the B looked. So I selected a, a capital B. And then all I did was just, and I'm trying to make this video a little shorter, I just brought the B over and did this and then welded it. So I just grouped it and put no feel, red hairline. And then as you can see it, the weld buttons don't come up. So you need to go to object, convert to curves, then select it all. And the weld buttons come up and you weld it and it's, it's ready to go. Then you just need to bring in your clip art of your arrow and I did the same thing I just made it a red hairline and I don't really know of a way to weld this you know you could weld it and that goes away you know you can try this and you know none of them really work and there's yeah, there is probably another way to do this but the only way I know how to do it is just first of all like in my other videos I would make a copy of this control D and set it aside just in case you mess something up zoom in get your virtual segment delete key and just start deleting these lines that you do not need like you don't need those lines because you want it to connect to the b and and it like you need that line so you just back up and you just go through here and delete these lines you don't need you need that line and this isn't perfect and I'm not going to go through the steps of doing them all because the, the word itself is going to stay together. Matter of fact, that isn't going to work. That's going to work right there. And just delete the lines you don't need because the, the word itself is already welded together and will stay together. And like I said, I'm not going to go through and do them all. But then after you get them done, there's a couple ways you can fill it in with black. Just see what it because you're going to want to cut it out. But also to see if you have any leaks would be to look at it like this. And, and then you can take your color fill tool, your smart fill tool, and fill it in. And that way you make sure you don't have any leaks. And it doesn't look, I don't like this right here, but I don't really know what to do with it. I guess I, I could have cut these lines out. Um, well, if you're on your color field tool, it's going to color everything in. So let's get to this piece. So I guess I could have virtually deleted this and this, this and this. Well, that isn't going to work. Yeah, it is. So that would look pretty good when you color fill it. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks a little better. It kind of shows off the arrow. And you could make the arrow, you know, you could change the arrow uh, to make it look more like the one in the, I don't know if she was dead set on that picture. But the, you know, the arrow's got some little wavy to it. So, you know, you could take the wavies out. And, um, you know, you could, you could do a lot with this. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.